presidential petitions lodged at the Supreme Court Monday seeking to overturn President-elect William Ruto's victory could be consolidated. Gospel musician, camp politician Ruben Kigame are among those who want the Apex Court to nullify the elections, claiming that the whole process leading up to the results, as declared by the chairperson of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, was marred by irregularities that rendered the final outcome invalid. What had initially looked like a contest between President-elect William Ruto and his Azimiola Umoja opponent Raila Odinga in the disputed presidential election results took another twist with eight other petitioners besides Raila's. All the nine petitions filed on Monday have to be dispensed within the 12 days allocated to the Supreme Court by the law. Gospel musician come politician Ruben Kigame was barred from contesting for the top seat and Busia Senator-elect come politician Okia Omtata are among notable names seeking to have the court nullify the presidential outcome. Is either I should be able to annul the election, to go into a fresh election, or actually find into one of the prayers of Azimio, if they prove it, that uh, the 50% plus one was actually never attained, we go for a rerun. So those are the two major things. The, the Supreme Court will want to operate with the Constitution, because the provision which they are trying to use is in the Election Act, which I think is, is, is inferior to, to, the, to, the, to the Constitution. Legal experts say this eventuality could necessitate the consolidation of petitions with similar prayers in the interest of the limited time available. The issues that have been raised by various petitions, some of them are cut across. Okay, so um, we expect when the, the courts are determined, they are going to they're going to, to come up with a, cons uh, a list of uh, uh, issues they have to to uh, determine and some of those issues are going to be consolidated okay and two you are saying you've seen um, a bulk of documents and I think the other side hasn't actually responded mm -hmm. so you are likely to see even more mm -hmm. we haven't seen anything mm -hmm. on whether 14 days are, are sufficient um, they may not be adequate but I think they're sufficient mm -hmm. uh, because this country has been on um, an electioneering mode for uh, well, for, for years, let me say. Kigame holds that the electoral body and its chairman, Wafula Chabukati, violated his political and human rights by disqualifying his application for the top seat. Kakamega Senator-elect and activist Okia Omtata also wants the presidential results dismissed, stating that no candidate attained the 50 plus 1 threshold as stipulated in the Constitution. Petitioner John Njoroge Kamau, on his part, is seeking the court's interpretation on whether IEBC chairman erred in excluding other commissioners in the final tally. Apart from Azimiola Umoja, one Kenya coalition party petition, other petitioners include John Njoroge Kamau, Daniel Karioki Ngari, Julia Nyokabi Chege, Khalif Khalifa, Okia Omtata, Youth Advocacy Africa, and Ruben Kigame. For Prime Edition, I'm Ben Troy Njue.